Hey everyone, so I'm back with um, fifth, five low carb dinners, prepped in an hour, on a budget. <laughs> I have my phone, let me turn that down. Okay, so uh, some of you may say I cheated this week to keep my $60 budget. So what I did is I went to Super One and, not Super One, uh, Brookshire's, and they had buy one package of meat, get one for a penny. And so I got two packages of pork chops. One was $4 and so the other one was a penny. So that will be, this is, there's six pork chops here, so this will be one meal. But what I did for the um, roast, you might think it's cheating. So when I went, they didn't have any small roast, and the roast, I paid $20 for this roast. Um, and so what I did is I'm dividing it in half, so the other roast I got for a penny is in the freezer. And so I'm dividing it in half and saying it was $10. So either I paid 20 for this roast and so there's 10 more dollars added to our budget or it's 10 and 10. And so I'm really excited. We haven't had roast in a while. And if you have a Brookshire's, they do every now and then um, the uh, buy one package and we get a package for a penny. And we know someone who actually work there and they do not mark it up like the week before or anything. So um, if you have like 10 extra bucks, then you can get a roast. Now I need to wash my hands. Okay, I'm sure my husband will fast forward all of that. All right, so um, I've got to do this move so fast. I'm always in a rush. I need these uh, food prep. All right, so I mean, my menu is low carb pork chops, cheesy broccoli salad. We're gonna prep the pork chops. Gonna go ahead and make and prep the uh, cheesy broccoli and then not prep the salad. We're gonna make a Mississippi roast. And I was going to make my own dressings and stuff. I'll have to find the other right here. But I don't have time today. I, it's just too fast. So I'm going to just cheat and use, I'm sure, off-plan ingredients that are in these to dump in there. Mashed cauliflower, which we'll also prep today, and a salad. Baked chicken strips with roasted green beans and salad. And then chicken legs with roasted vegetables, and I'll just bake at the same time. And uh, all we're gonna do prep the chicken legs is we're gonna make the uh, like marinade mixture uh, and then put the legs in the uh, bag. <clears throat> and then my beefy cabbage casserole that I've made before and zucchini fries. And that is our menu. And so how I'm going to do this today is I'm going, I've gotta sneeze. Ah, I'm going to, not my order. Okay, so I'm going to make the beefy cabbage casserole, put it in a pan, I'm going to sneeze, melt butter for the pork chops, mix up the dry mixture for the pork chops, dip the pork chops in and then dip them in the seasoning, steam the broccoli in the, refri in the refrigerator, <laughs> that's not how that works, anyway, in the microwave, um, assemble the little casserole, make our, our chicken strips, we've got to grind pork chops, uh, mix up all the seasonings. I'm gonna put those in a pan. And then we're gonna make a cheesy mashed cauliflower, steam it in the microwave, mix up all the, I actually then use the food processor and then mix it. And then add all the ingredients, mine's a chicken legs to a gallon Ziploc bag, mix it and then throw in the chicken legs. And then for the crock pot, the roast, put in the roast, put in the seasonings, put in butter and then the dried peppers and that is how it's going to work and I need to get started so fast I don't know if I'm going to get to my meeting or not I'm meeting with me next so I can get a book anyway so we get started um I hope I hope this is helpful and I hope that um and again 
say this every time. I have no idea if I'm gonna make this when I start. And so far, I've gone over a couple of times, but I'm making it work. And really, I just wanna help, especially moms who are trying to eat better, feed their family better, um, but show that you can eat like this on a budget, but also um, not spend forever in the kitchen. I used to spend forever in the kitchen, like hours and hours and hours every day. So it's kind of my, my point, it's like to help you, but at the same time of helping you, um, I'm also making sure that I stay on plan and this is the best way for me to stay on plan. So first I'm gonna start by browning the meat, chopping the onion, finally got some new garlic, chopping the cabbage, putting all that in, and uh, then adding the, the tomatoes after the seasonings and then put it in the pan and be done and then trying to work on the pork chops and everything else that I can at the same time. All right, so I'm gonna get started. Um, Alexa, set a timer for an hour. One hour, starting now. Okay. Now I'm going to <clears throat> assemble the pork chops. I'm going to brush them with butter and then dip them into the seasoning mix that I made um, already. And then also I had to get a larger, I don't know what I was thinking. I set out my large skillet, but I still have ones even bigger. And you know, cabbage shrinks down, so you have to add it. And if your skillet's too big, then you just kind of wait and add it slowly. are prepared. I just want to wrap them in um, saran wrap and then that is done. The beefy cabbage casserole is almost done. I'm going to work on steaming the broccoli and then finish up the casserole. Okay, um, so I'm still, I'm using this uh, video again, camera, I think it was camera, what that word? And it stopped again, so I'm not exactly sure how long it stopped, but I just finished the 
keeping cabbage casserole, put it in this, and then the microwave is beeped with the broccoli being done. So I'm gonna get that. Now I'm going to move on to the chicken tenders. You, if you don't have chicken tenders, you can just use chicken breast that you cut up into strips. Okay, so I'm gonna dip the um, chicken into mayo and then to the seasoning mix and then put it into the pan. Okay, so here are the chicken tenders. This pan is not quite 9 by 13, it's close, but it just, it's a little sh smaller. Um, so you should have a little bit more room to spread yours out, and the chicken tenders are prepped. I think I'm being messier than last time. Okay, now I'm going to work on the cheesy mashed cauliflower. Okay, so I'm cooking that for four minutes. While that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the chicken legs. So like I said, I'm put everything into the baggie and then drop in the chicken legs. Okay, we'll have nine minutes left. I think I'm gonna make it. All right, so here's the chicken legs. Basically, I'm just trying to squish and get the ones that are on the bottom, move to the top, and the one on the top, move to the bottom. Um, now, if you have enough pans and enough room, but you can't hear me, in your fridge, um, or you could even just freeze it like this in a freezer baggie. Uh, again, if you're worried about something sitting in the fridge like this. Um, but I don't have enough pans. So this is what I'm going to do. And then I'm just gonna roast these on one of my big, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm gonna roast these on one of my big baking sheets. And I believe we're also having all the roasted vegetables I'm gonna roast. Brussels sprouts, broccoli, carrots, little potatoes. I can't remember what else is in the fridge, but whatever I have, maybe some mushrooms, just kind of mix it all in. If you're worried about this leaking in your fridge at all, then just double bag it or sit it in a bowl in your fridge. Okay, 
Okay, that's done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the roast. Super easy and fast. Okay, I drained almost all the liquid out, and my Walmart didn't have um, the whole ones, or even, the, these are fairly thinly sliced, but I feel like they kind of just dissolve anyway, you know, the small ones like this. Okay, then I'll just put a lid on this, and this one's done. Okay, so it stopped again, and I just got the cauliflower out of the microwave. It's the very last thing I'm doing. Alexa, how much time do I have left? You have two minutes left on the one hour time. Okay, so my timer just went off. I'm probably two minutes over. Um, here's the mashed cauliflower. Um, everything else <clears throat> prepped. I need to cover four things because they're not covered, and then everything is going in the fridge. And well, no, I'm going to eat one of them tonight. So, uh, but everything is done in probably an hour and two minutes. But I had again camera stopping. Um, and stuff like that but I've got to run I've got my I've got to meet my friend and my kitchen's a little bit dirtier than last time but it's not too bad probably at the most 10 minutes in this kitchen is all cleaned up I think I'm going to top this with um, some smoked paprika and some additional um, cheese and we'll see how that tastes I'm excited hopefully this is helpful and I never told you my total so let me get there real quick all these papers Okay, so it's technically $58.64, but I included purchasing three seasonings and something else I included as well. Oh, for the salad for three meals, I did $239 for a package of organic greens, a square thing, as for three romaine lettuce heads. Um, it's $2.39 as well, and then for two tomatoes, it's $0.20 cents and $0.45 cents for two cucumbers. But change that up for your family and how you want to eat it. I divided that between three meals. And then I get pork chops for $4, chicken breast for $4 for three, the roast was $10, chicken legs, $2.07, and hamburger meat for four, no, $5. They get $5 for hamburger meat. Um, oh, I have skinny green beans for one of the things, so that's one here. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so it's not 58.64, it's 58.14. That's the total. And that includes buying three new seasonings because we use so much in cooking. And of course, please, anything you make that I make, um, if you don't like things quite as strong as I do, then like if it calls for a whole teaspoon of garlic powder, cut back to a half. Um, if you don't like cayenne pepper at all, don't use it. Um, or if it calls, I, I think I used six shakes earlier, if I use two or something just to give it a tiny bit of heat. Um, <clears throat> I think that's it. I need an egg. Why do I need an egg? I think I'm, I don't know what I did. Okay. Um, I'll have to figure out where the egg is supposed to go. I'm not sure, and I've got food in my hair, and I've got to run. Um, again, I hope this is helpful. Uh, where do I need an egg? Well, there's not an egg 
on here. Uh, I'm cutting those pennies out because I didn't use it. No. Okay, sorry. All right, so hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully, I want to get at least six weeks of these up so that there's at least a, a rotation of mostly cheap meals or moderately on the cheap end. And I know that having a roast is expensive, but again, if I can go and get buy one, get one for a penny and save one, then I've got the other one in the freezer. The next week I can pick up something extra and still it would be $68 if you want to include the total price for both of the roasts. And also, like, if you go to the, your Aldi and you don't have, like, Brussels sprouts or $4 instead of $1.29, get whatever's on sale for roasting your vegetables or choose to do a different vegetable. Um, if your family will eat um, cabbage, fried cabbage, that's really cheap and you don't even have to have bacon, although bacon makes it taste better. When bacon is on sale, I like to uh, buy it and then freeze it into depending on what I'm freezing it for. Are we gonna have it for breakfast? So do I get two people, two pieces per person, three for my husband? And then if I'm gonna use it for something like cabbage, then I would probably save four pieces and I put it on the outside of the package, I'll save four pieces of bacon. Uh, so then I know when I'm pulling it out. Um, I think there was one more thing I was gonna say and I don't remember, but I gotta go anyway. So hopefully this is helpful and until next time, um, Hopefully you're saving money and staying on plan. Bye.